What you can manage, you can manifest. You have to believe you can achieve it and handle it because all it takes is creativity and consistency. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is definitely a podcast review slash summary. And this podcast is called Enlightened by Sophia Spolino. I hope I didn't butcher her name. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't come for me if it's not, okay? And this episode is called Create a Life You Love to Live. And it is featuring her friend named Jacqueline Burnett. Now, these two women have a little bit of a good background to them. So uh, let's just get started. Okay, so for this episode with this podcast, both of these women have their own podcasts, so this same episode is on both of their podcasts because you know how sometimes they'll do a whole new episode, that way it's you have to go listen to both episodes type thing, but they didn't do that this time, so it's a little bit back and forth between each of these women. <laughs> Let's start with Sophia because this is how I found this podcast is hearing about Sophia and with Sophia she is a personal development and dating life coach and especially life coach when it comes to age gap relationships because she is in one herself and she's very open about it she talks about it on her podcast and I think her Instagram and TikTok so she talks about how her boyfriend is, I think, double her age or 25 years older or something like that. So she talks a lot about that. And she also is a social media mentor and she keeps up with her TikTok account, her Instagram and her YouTube channel, obviously, as well as the podcast. And I think she mentioned something about her own jewelry line, but she didn't go into depth. So she has her plate full. And then she also helps her boyfriend create stuff. And she's on the business plans with that. Um, I think she said he was the inventor of silly bands. You know, the little bracelets that are in certain shapes. And then also he just invented sanitizer bracelets didn't even know that was a thing you wear it on your wrist and you push a little button and sanitizer pops out so you got hand sanitizer on the go it's very smart actually very smart so with Jacqueline Jacqueline Burnett she is a social media marketer an artist who paints over um, certain iconic pieces like Michael Jackson and Marilyn Monroe and she is in the process of writing a book. She tells on the podcast. She talks about it a little bit. And she also has her own podcast called Happiness Habitat. Also has a background in journalism, modeling, and other marketing within um, a sports company. I didn't do too much research in their background. <laughs> And she also was casted in a number of roles for acting. And she even is the founder of a brand called Got Crypto Coin. So I thought that was interesting. That like both of these women sound phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna list off some of the few topics that they go over so you can kind of follow along. So they go over relationships and the toxic ones they were in and how long it took them to bounce out of it and be themselves and also went over when they found their new relationship how much healthier it was and like how much more they were thriving within themselves it's really cool to hear the stuff they manifested and how their new life came about. It's just, I love hearing stories like that. So I will stop yapping and go into what the podcast was about. So they start off talking about how 
their last relationship shaped them and how toxic it was and went into certain stories that had happened. Ooh, it was good stuff. And if you're new here or you don't watch a lot of these type of videos that I do about reviews or summaries, I don't go into too much detail because I want you to go and listen and support them. But I give just enough detail for you to want to go listen and a little bit more description on what it's about. So after they're done telling stories, they definitely go into how they thought that toxic behavior was almost like how it's supposed to go. And as soon as they started, I guess, getting too much of it and it started weighing on them and becoming negative and they started waking up feeling more bad than good is when they knew they had to get out. And once they did get out, they said it was such a huge, like out of the relationship, it was such a huge adjustment. And one of her stories was about a red light and how she missed the turn. And she just heard her ex telling her and yelling at her saying, oh my God, like how much you missed that turn. But then she would be in the car with one of her friends and she's like, oh wow, my friend isn't yelling at me. My friend is like, okay, we'll just catch the next, you know, block around, we'll turn around. And how simple of easy fix that was. And they didn't realize how much damage that person was actually doing to them until they got out. And they started replaying situations in their head. I was like, hmm. That's some good stuff right there. Have you ever been in one of those situations? And you're like, wait a minute. This is not how people are supposed to react? Hmm. Wild. Wild. And that was also both of them. Both of them had similar toxic relationships. And both of them had similar growth improvements within their own self-development afterwards it's it's funny because she starts off the podcast saying have you ever met someone that was like your identical twin and hearing them i was like oh okay i definitely get it now you guys definitely sound alike so anyways <laughs> Another reason why I like this podcast is because it was more laid back than all the other ones that I listened to. All the other ones I listened to were like, I mean, they're cool and they're awesome and I like listening to them, but this one was more like I was in the room with them. So I think this review slash summary is kind of going to give off the same vibe is that I'm kind of just relaying some of the good topics they talked about. Um, so please definitely go support these women. They sound amazing and they sound like they've worked their butt off pretty much. <laughs> so the part where Sophia mentions her jewelry line is when she's talking about um, how she, like the reason she thought her business and her jewelry line didn't come sooner because if it would have came sooner, then who knows when she was in that toxic relationship and I think she said she was in it for a couple of years actually and she said she was from a small town so a lot of people knew her and she felt pressured as well but anyways so she's talking about her jewelry line and she says she thinks she didn't get it sooner is because who knows if she would have gotten it and this is why she says everything happens for a reason and the timing is when it is supposed to happen and it is just right. Because if she would have got the jewelry line when she was married to that guy, then who knows? She could have lost half of it in the divorce settlement or she could have even stayed longer in the marriage because she was like, well, I got money. You know, I might as well just sit here for a good old minute. Like... Some people rationalize situations like that. So she was like, I'm so thankful and I'm so glad that it had happened after that relationship. 
And so it starts up this whole conversation on why it's important to get rid of the negativity, why it's important to get rid of negative, toxic people in your life. And yes, sometimes you can't always cut out the toxic people in your life because they might be family or maybe they're your guardian and you're underage. Whatever the reason is, you either get rid of them and don't talk to them or you limit the exposure time with them. And I guess the same thing had happened with Jacqueline because she had talked about almost a similar situation. And her situation was that she wasn't she wasn't married to this person. They were, um, I think, just boyfriend girlfriend. But the first, the first girl, she was, she was married. She was full blown in a marriage. That must have been so difficult. And she said she got married young too, in a small town. Ooh, where everybody knows your business. Mm -mm. No, thank you, Sally. Keep your small town life where it is at. Cause I don't want any part in it. And so basically they go back and forth telling like old stories of their toxic relationships and what they learn from them after the fact and how they'll never go back. And they have more confidence within themselves as a person. I love that. So then they kind of do like a small comparison to how not healthy they were in to the healthy state they were in and the comparison is wild i think sometimes some people just need to hear a little bit of a comparison like nobody should be screaming at you on a daily basis every time you get in the car and you make a wrong turn and you don't know what you don't know like if that's all you know and you think okay yeah this is what people are supposed to do then you adapt to it how sad is that like people need to know you don't need to stand for that you don't need to stay for that that's that's a different level we need to upgrade that's what i've been saying okay so after the small comparison Jacqueline is talking about her new current relationship because she was a little bit hesitant because he was six years younger than her. And to me, that's, that just doesn't seem young. <laughs> like, it doesn't seem like a huge age gap, especially about hearing about the first age gap, which is 25 years apart. You know, like that sounds, you know, a bit of a gap. So she was talking about how kind he was and it was just so obvious and how she manifested him into her life because at the time her therapist was telling her like these are the things you need to write down on a list and it has to be um like i think something about foundational like foundational items like things where you don't put like a race you don't put an age you don't put background ethnicity none of that you just write a good listener or like descriptive qualities about this person and the funny part the funny part is she said that she had actually forgot about that list that she had wrote and she had came across it after they were already dating for a little while and he had checked everything off of her boxes and i thought that was pretty cool she said she had manifested her dream partner into her life and he came in and so they each go back and forth now on what manifesting means for them so for them manifesting is using the law of attraction which means you focus on the good because whatever you focus on expands so you need to be open accepting and receiving and it's where everything is made up of vibrations so it's like rewiring your brain to think more positively, to dismiss the more negative thoughts, to not harp on it or focus on them. 
And if you can tap into and learn to observe yourself, then you can focus on your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind is what controls your conscious mind. I don't think I remember learning that, so that was, I think, new for me. If I did learn it, then I just forgot about it. And she said, you start your day with gratitude, which I know a lot of um, self-help people say, but I didn't hear anyone word it like this. She said, when you start your day with gratitude, it sets the tone for the day and causes a reaction. So kind of like a chain reaction. Everything after that should be positive and filled with love. That's just so cute. I love it. Okay, and then Sophia brings up that I've kind of heard this, but the way she worded it was different and I'm all for wording the same thing five different times because you never know what you comprehend, what you don't comprehend, what you grab onto or what you don't grab onto. So this is what she says. Every subject is made up of two subjects. And so what she explains it is she uses a metaphor like um, a stick. Let me use, okay, so a stick, make a brush, stick, whatever. Okay, so <laughs> she says, when you pick up a stick, this one thing is made up of two subjects, one here and one here. And you have to consciously make an effort to decide which end of the stick you're going to pick up. Are you gonna pick up this end, which is what you want, or are you gonna pick up this end, which is what you don't want? Because if you constantly focus on what you don't want, that's what you're gonna get. Versus if you grab the end on what you want, then that's what you will receive. And I thought it was wild because she used it as like an example of, she says she's thinking about engagement so much. And Sophia, the host of the podcast Enlightened, she says the stick represents her engagement. And one side is, I want to get married. This is going to be amazing being with my soulmate. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. But this side is, what if he never proposes? What if I never get the ring? Never, never, no, no, negative. And she's choosing to focus on the positive. And I just love that. So every subject is made up of two subjects and the two subjects is what you want and what you don't want. So you have to choose what subject basically you focus on. Isn't that neat? I just love that. That's so cute. Such a great concept. So then she goes into advice about what her friend had said and her friend was like, what you can manage, you can manifest. You have to believe you can achieve it and handle it because all it takes is creativity and consistency. And she was saying, never be afraid to ask. Never be afraid to want better for yourself or for thinking you deserve good stuff to come your way. Because again, a lot of people are scared to receive something positive in their life. It's it just, I, I can't wrap my brain around that. Like, how do you not want good things to happen to you? You always want to stay a victim. You always want to be in the mud. Who wants to be in the mud? I mean, metaphorically speaking, right? So the conclusion of this is love yourself unconditionally because if you love people around you, you will receive love back. And that's the type of energy you want, right? And then at the end of um, the episode, Jacqueline asked Sophia, like, how does she define happiness? What does she think happiness embodies? And I will leave that to you for you to go listen to on your own. So don't forget to check out this podcast. I listen to my podcast off Spotify because it's just the easiest. And it works out for me. So I will continue to use what is not yet broken. So how did you like this one? Was this one nice? You guys will have to let me know. I feel like all the other ones kind of have uh, hyped me up a little bit more. So this one was fun, but it was more like a relaxed message. And who knows, you could be listen listening to this at the right moment, at the right time in your life. 
so don't forget that. But okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it. And I will definitely be back next week, of course, because I love my channel. My channel is my baby, okay? I love her. She's kind of like my own therapy, okay? Therapy for me, therapy for you. Therapy is amazing and it feels beautiful. Hence, therapy is beauty. Just works, just does. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. I just don't understand how already today has been a day. <sighs> okay, this episode is called Create a Life You Want to Love. Nope, Create a Life You Love to Live. Ah, oh, tragic. <laughs> I just feel like I'm going to be very low vibrational. I'm going to have low frequencies. <sighs> is anybody else tired? Or is it just me? I'm breaking out. Full on breakouts. I wonder if it's hormonal. You know when you see on TikTok, you're breaking out because of hormones if you're breaking out all through here. Yeah, that's me. That's me. So they, so they, little, 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 I'm talking way too fast. I need my stomach to stop gurgling. This is why it's important to get rid of negativity in your life. It's important to rid of the toxic, get, blah, blah, blah. this is not a long video. I don't know why I keep messing up. This is ridiculous. <laughs> if I could pay for someone to come and teach me how to blend eyeshadow on my left eye, I would do it. No questions asked. I would do it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I wonder if I was a singer in a past life. I, I even sing that. How cool would that be? Ow, poke myself in the eye. Oh. Oh, that's never a good feeling. Oh, my eyes watering. Whew. I'm still low key scared of these. <sighs> Hold my breath every time. I just get so scared. <laughs> Scratch it. So, oh, well, well, well. Slow down. Slow down. Let me talk so fast. This was a good video. Good short video. I like it. Should be easy to edit. I'm gonna need my stomach to stop making these funny sounds. I look like a big kid. Just waiting on my mom. When we go into the park. I'm doing too much.